So Ontario has dollar beer, apparently. Not too many brewers really hopped in on the opportunity presented by the Premier of Ontario. But this is one that has been requested by my friend Romeo. I know it's taking taken forever, buddy, but it's finally here. We're gonna we're gonna see what a dollar a beer will get you in the eyes of the Ontario Conservative Party and President's Choice Loblaws, No Fills and all that other stuff. Let's do this guys. Beer, 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 ba, beer, ba, beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Bruski, for the Rushka Bruski review. And today, the beer I have for you is beer by No Name. No Name Beer. Anybody who's not in, I guess, Canada or has President's Choice, um, No Name is a generic sort of brand. It's like really cheap stuff, but still good quality stuff under the President's Choice uh, parent company. And uh, yeah, the Ontario Premier introduced Dollar Beers. Uh, I think Cool Brewery went in there and then they President's Choice did their own as well through their company. No name. So it's a buck of beer. Ish. I mean, I picked up a six pack for $9.90. It doesn't really sound like a buck of beer to me. But... We finally got it. It's just no name beer. White logo, black, white and black. White and black, what am I saying? Yellow and black, jeez. I don't know my colors. But yeah, that's it. Nothing else on the can, so presentation already gets a uh, uh, the half mark. Just because they said beer and alcohol. 5% alcohol by volume, no listed IBUs. Realistically, I'm guessing it's a lager of some sort. So we'll guess 10. But yeah, let's crack this open. Let's see what a buck of beer-ish gets you. Very interested. It's actually a twist off. I mean, it's a dollar beer. Might as well be a twist off. Let's pour it up into well a uh, nondescript glass. I think that is very fitting for the, uh, you know, for for what it is. Pour about that much. They're not gonna do a full beer. Looking at it, very, very pale, golden color, super see-through, uh, you know, excuse all the bubbles in it. Very open, big bubbly white head that is dissipating just as quicker than it's actually growing. Looks sort of like a ginger ale, to be honest. Yep, very, very clear. Let's have a smell. I mean, I guess it smells like beer. Corny, uh, grainy, a little bit of caramel, slight butterscotch, bready, like white and a bit of sourdough bread, nothing, nothing fancy. Doesn't smell bad, which is good. So, let's have a sip. Mm. I would, um, I'd compare it to between like a Bud Light and a full flavored Bud. It's like right in between those two of them. Not as flavorful as like a Budweiser, but definitely more flavor than a Bud Light. Light, uh, very airy, um, bready, light caramel, bit of corn, bit of sweet corn in there. Uh, a little bit of melon in there as well. Something that is kind of interesting. Cool, a little bit sweeter of a beer, of a lager, but not bad. I mean, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but for the price that it is, could have been a lot worse. A lot of other beers that are really, really bad. So far, no real complaints. But as we always do, guys, we got to keep on drinking. So cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah, touch of melon. More or less cardboardy, realistically, if you... For if you break it right down, it's kind of cardboardy. Car cardboardy, it's bleh. But um, you know, if you dive in a little bit deeper and, and you try to figure out what actual flavors are in here, it's, it's it's not terrible. I mean, there's nothing that's off-putting by any means. It's just kind of bland and mad. It's a mad beer. It's a dollar beer. You're not really expecting too much out of it. Obviously, you don't want it to taste like absolute ass. But for what you get. I'd drink it. Yeah, if I was on a tight, tight budget, 
of course. I think it would be a good addition. Yeah, it's just light. This is the most generic beer that you can probably buy right now. You know, there's no real logo on it at all. It's just no-name beer. Straight up. That's all it is. On the bottle, there seems to be some sort of date code on here. E2891. So, at least there is some sort of code on there. I don't know how to decipher it, but okay. Other than that, that's it. Beer. Beer in French. 341 ml, 5% ABV, a little serial number, and no name, sans nom for the Frenchies. Gold cap. So there's something a little, a little different than with gold, or, or you know, gold looking sort of thing. As for website, I've been searching high and low to find a page dedicated to this beer from either President's Choice or No Name the Company. Both have websites. Both I could not find this beer. On the President's Choice website, I could find their beer, which is essentially, I want to say, the exact same, uh, or at least their de-alcoholized beer, but I haven't found that even like their beer beer, not even under their beverages, and I don't think there's, yeah, cool. Okay, so, no website, I mean, I don't really know what you expect, it's not going to be a huge list, it's trying to be cheap, they're not going to put money into making a website, but that's kind of a bummer. I was interested to see what they had to say about their beer. Obviously, no name also means no description, no ingredients, no nothing. That's fine. In case you want to pick up the no name beer at your local LCBO, you can pick up a six pack for $9.90, which doesn't make sense. Because, why? If uh, it was a dollar beer, it'd be six sixty because each bottle has a ten cent deposit. But maybe the LCBO just you know likes to mark stuff up because their government is well and they're yeah whatever. We're, we're not gonna get in that discussion. <clears throat> but nine ninety for a six pack, pretty damn cheap for around here. Probably the cheapest six pack if I'm not mistaken. You can use that ten cents to. I don't know. Scratch a scratch card. You can't buy anything for ten cents anymore. Um, yeah. Other than that, nine ninety for the beer. Not terrible. I'm enjoying it. You know what? For what it is, it's nothing special, but it's not garbage at all. It's definitely very easy to drink. A beer perk for anybody. Um, yeah. It just sits. It sits in its nice little happy place, being cheap and straightforward. It's perfect in that way. <laughs> Finally. Moving over to Untap, No Name Beer has been given a solid 2.51 bottle caps out of 5. That's out of 705 ratings. Somebody says, if you treat your truck better than you treat your liver, you might be a redneck. <laughs> oh, these are kind of funny. I can't believe I consumed four of these things. Yeah, they're really hating on it. <clears throat> Anybody else say, uh, I had to try Dollar Beer for Canada Day. Pretty sweet, but better than the domestic brands. I have to say, it's better than some domestics. Black Bottle, the very basics. Too sneaky, some niggas hit them out. Hit it surprisingly good. Better than Laker, Lakeport, and Bush. Hmm. Interesting stuff. I guess now you gotta find, you gotta hear my final verdict on the beer. So with that said, guys, cheers and final sip. Let's get ready to ratings. No name, President's Choice, Ontario Government, Ontario. This is your no name beer. A straightforward, no bullshit, no description, no nothing lager that surprisingly doesn't taste horrible. It's very basic and very bland. I do pick up a little bit of melons in there, but that could just be my mind playing tricks on me. Probably not. I could definitely get a little bit, but. It's not terrible. For the price that it is, for how cheap it is, it's a great bang for your buck. I know there's a lot of controversy around it. I'm not going to get into that. We don't do politics here. <laughs> um, but, hey, you know what? It's cheap beer, and I'm always up for cheap beer, no matter where it comes from. You know, talk shit about my moral compass sometimes, but uh, I'm going to drink it. If, if it's available and if it's something that I'm in the budget in the market for I'm definitely gonna get it if you know 
But yeah, I'm not going to go there. Um, Dollar Beer by No Name. It's not great. It's not terrible. Solid 5 out of 10. I actually thoroughly enjoyed the beer, surprisingly. I was not expecting it to be this decent. Not bad, guys. As for presentation, no website, so forget that. And as the uh, bottle, I knew it was going to look like this. No Name is always... Every product looks exactly the same. White, uh, yellow, black, and the name of it is like chicken tenders. Chicken tenders. There you go. Done. So, not much there. Like I said, presentation gets a 0 0.5 out of 10. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, leave all that information down in the comment box below. It might take a while, though. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, make Bruce, it would be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, make Bruce, like I always say, crack beer and enjoy. Cheers. No name beer is cheap and surprisingly okay. That's kind of cool. Not something the government did that wasn't terrible. Cheers.